It's like I would just like to uh, welcome you, everyone, with your One Touch Ministries second on home gathering, where our uh, apostolic overseers is Pastor Shannon Young, well, Pastor Shannon and Prophet is Nadija Young, and our campus minister is myself, uh, Minister Henry Jackson, um, and so I would just like, like to just welcome you. To to the first, uh, I would say Sun Sunday. Well, not first, but the second Sunday of January, which is our first uh, service in uh, January. Uh, last Sunday, we we could not record because we had a power outage. So, so we're going going to uh, go for it with the order of service, with the uh, reading of uh, scripture. Hey, what are we today from Act Dad to all of them? Who are you, Lord? In Psalm, you brother, written and threatened and slayed against the disciples of the Lord, who went up unto the high priest. In the desire of him, his letter to the mockers, to the city of him, that if you find any of this way, for the they were men or women who might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near the mockers and stood there, shed around him, shed about around him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth, and hearing a voice said to him, Saul, Saul, why is thou prostitute me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus who got prosecuted. It <clears throat> is hard for thee to kick the, to kick against the trick. And the come on oh uh, and said, Lord, what will thy have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city. And it shall be told me what that was do. And the man was dirty, was he understood speechless, hearing their voice, but seeing no man. And Saul rose from the earth and said, that it did he, uh -huh. Saul rose from the earth, and when his eyes were open, he saw a man. But they led him by the hand and brought him into the markers. And he and he was there three days and was out of sight. Nothing eat, nothing eat or drink. And when there was a critical disciple, a certain disciple at the marker named Abel, and he told him and, and to him said the Lord I am here, Lord. And the Lord said to him Arise and go into the street, which is called the street, and <clears throat> put it acquainted in the city of Judas, and one called Saul of Tyre, for behold, that prayer, and have seen in a vision a man named Abel coming in and putting his hand on him, and he <laughs> may receive his sight. Lord, word have been really blessed for the good of education of our mind, body, and soul. Yeah, we're going to uh, go into prayer.
Every praise, every praise is to our God. Yeah, we're going to uh, uh, go go straight into testimony. Um, now I just want to get give my testimony. Uh, yeah, I thank thank the Lord for as I said in prayer earlier. Uh, now I thank the Lord for ushering us in into the new year. Um, with our our, our health. With our with our health, health and strength, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do also uh, uh, like to thank the Lord if actually, um, uh, yeah, for yeah, for uh, as I said, from from one touch ministries, we uh, uh, have a growth um, that is coming within our ministry. So yeah, I thank the Lord for that for for the future of that. Um, uh, also, as well as no, I just want to uh, give a little testimony on behalf of my mother. Um, yeah, I thank the Lord for, for for actually keeping her healthy and and you know fit. And the doctors is still saying that she's healthy and yeah. you know everything going on. And so yeah, I do j just like to, uh, give thanks to to the Lord for everyone that He's have yeah. uh, made he healthy and prosperous. Uh, like, now I'll just like to uh, move on to the next part of service and that's that's the sermon part of the service yeah the Lord has spoke to me uh, last night he was telling me um, how we how we are well since that this is the year that we're going to be in a uh, restoration um, that the Lord said to me that that there is including myself but there is that we're so afraid of, of walking into our, our man uh, hood. Um, right. and, and so for as far as women, I'm talking about womenhood and the no, femininity for women and masculinity for men. Um, but, but the Lord said that we are, some of us are afraid to walk into our, our, our man, uh, no, our masculinity in, 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 in the Lord. And so, um, when I, when the Lord was saying this to me, I was trying to understand, you know, how the, does the Lord want me to, where to go about, you know, teaching this, and and the Lord was explaining to me, He want me to explain, um, what a man is, and so so therefore you could, I want to say, have a clear understanding, yeah, yeah, of who you are, so then that you could finally do the the thing that God has created you to to to, to do um so if you do have your scripture then uh I will be in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 through 28 I will be reading from the message translation and it reads here in my scripture it say uh, God spoke uh, let us make human beings in in our image Make them reflecting our nature so so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, even earth itself, and every animal that moves in the face of, of earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike. Reflecting God's nature, and He created them male and female. God blessed them. They, well, it say then He blessed them by saying, "Prosper, re reproduce, 
feel earth, take charge, and be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air, for every living thing that moves on the face of earth. So, um, there are, uh, just, just, just I read you uh, Genesis 1. 26 through 28 and so as we do read here for, for, the, for the Bible said that God has created man within his own image um, and, and man is not referring to the male species as in referring to just the the boy or just referring to it just me as me being a male it's not referring to just me but the man is referring to mankind as in right. male and female. Um, and, and so what this means is that God created women as much as he has created us as, as man. And so he want the both of us to be of his likeness um, and, and a reflection of him. And so now I do want it to, to, to also uh, for it to be understood that all of us as men have a different, I want to say, quality about us that, that, where well, that actually, uh, di differentiate me from, from a, another man. Um, and so, and so this is why you, when you talk to one man, he thinks one way and you talk to another man, he thinks another way. And so all of us have a di different, you know, I want to say characteristics that that is about us that makes us us. Um, so now I do uh, want, want you to understand that man is a tri part being. And uh, with this being said, then man is a spirit just like God. And we live in a body. And we have a soul, uh, spirit, body, and soul. And so you will uh, find that in Genesis 2 and 7. Um, God had created us in his likeness so that we can perfect his nature uh, in knowledge and so God, so how do 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 we uh, uh, step into our manhood is by is by is by ta taking on the things of God, and that's referring to uh, yeah our knowledge. And the the knowledge part is the way how we think. And so this is just isn't referring to the books that we read, but this is referring to also to the. Uh, I want to say to the people who we connect with, who we get our information from, who we are inspired by. And so, you know, any forms of words that's being exchanged from one man to another, that is referring to uh, us building up knowledge. And so whether or not if what they're saying is true or false, we, we're still in taking that. Um, and so that is all knowledge. So you can find that in Colossians 3. 10. Now, another form that God wants us to take up of him is righteousness and holiness. So righteousness is the work has already been laid out. And so that is just for us to take hold of, of what has already been prepared. And so just like when God created, well, be before the five days, God created, you know, the, the, I want to say the, the, the sun, the moon, you know, the, you know, all those, like the waters, the fish and all of that. Uh, when he was creating all of that, he was preparing all of that for us to, to take hold of it. And so here, uh, holiness uh, is again, like righteousness and holiness go hand in hand. So uh, uh, be, being holy, yeah, is not about, you know, no, it's just uh, not, no, it's just not about us staying away from sin, but it's all about us as she as I as I uh you reflect you know that 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 good part about him or that character about him. Uh you will find that in Ephesians four and twenty-four. 
And last but not least, he created us to have the do, uh do, dominion, uh, which I like to say leadership uh, uh of of the earth. And so uh and so one of the things that I do that uh well I'm not gonna uh dive in into it this Sunday, but uh, uh uh next Sunday I will, but here in, in the scripture it says that God created us to 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 be God like like him to reflect in his nature and so 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 the natures part I was referring to is to the knowledge the righteousness and the holiness and the leadership um so he and so it says so once we begin to take on that those characteristics then we can be able to prosper to re reproduce to fill the earth uh which means to you know uh have children uh to take charge as in other words that that means to take responsibility um i mean uh i'm sorry no authority um and and so be be and it say be responsible for the fish and the sea and birds in the air and just referring to everything that God has put inside of our hands. And so um now so man is a tripart being. We we are a spirit that possesses oh well, I'm sorry, we, we are a spirit that lives in a body and we possess a soul, which our soul is our will, our emotions and our thoughts and so um when we actually understand that that we want to build up our likeness in god in those three areas and that's in the spirit that's in the natural in the physical and that's also in the emotional uh which is what what, what our soul and our soul also reflects the mind which is the, the way how we think as well so so we want to be of God in those three areas, in the spirit, in, in the the physical body, or in other words, your physical body, and also the spirit, our mind, will, and emotions. So we want to be emotionally uh, uh, connected to God. If we want to be, uh, what I say, will, the thoughts. So we want to have the thoughts of God. My will and emo oh yeah, my will and emotion. So the emotional and the thought process is is the two things that we want to uh, uh, have that 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 we do want to have. And as I said before, the body, the physical, is referring to the 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 uh, pro prosperity. So when you hear people prosper or people saying prophecies, then that's referring to us maintaining. Uh, whether uh, whether it is uh, uh, physical money, uh, that that is a physical uh, attribute. So you know, getting a new car, new house, uh, uh, or a child, or birthing a child into the world, uh, that that is all being physically uh, blessed. And so so God wants us to 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 take hold of that. And last but not least, our spirit. Uh, uh, which is that we can only go to God for that. That is why why we have the Holy Spirit there there to uh, which uh, God is spiritually. Yeah, I do want to uh, speak speak over to your life the the sevenfold blessings. I speak uh, blessings of health for your for you and your family. Say so I speak blessings of deliverance from any habits that you have in your life. I speak blessings of peace to your mind from anybody or anything that may be disturbing you. I speak blessings of salvation to any friends or loved ones. I speak blessings of comfort to any person hurting, lonely, bereaved, or confused. I speak blessings of finances, of debt cancellation, of prosperity. And, and economic empowerment to all of God's people according to his riches and glory. And number seven, I speak blessings of anointings and promotions in your life to complete your assignment 
to move forward in your purpose. Well, then uh, we can uh, actually uh, go to the uh, benediction uh, part of the service. Uh, if you do have, have your Bibles, then go with me to the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 6, verse 24, 25, and 26. And, it, uh, and we're speaking this from the message, trans the, the message translation. And so it reads, uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. May God smile on you. May God get you. May God look you full in the face and make you prosper.